Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waharuka Kudash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, our Redeemer and Savior, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Christ, and other names. Ruka Kudash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the full understanding of this truth, which is a gift from our Savior, Yahweh Shai. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, GMS. These are the men that taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing his gospel in all sincerity in his last days. Shalom also to the few sisters, Aquat, who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yarayala, Yashar Allah from the GMS Italy camp. And I'm back with another one. Hopefully, it's going to be edifying through the spirit and power of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yao Shai. Now, I, I had an encounter, I think it was last two weeks. Okay, you can go to my channel. I had an encounter with a, with a Jake. A West African Jake, a Nigerian to be precise, you know. In other words, let's say my people actually, you know. And the video is on my page was a life camp, and the title is "Them Devils Rule the Shit." Okay, excuse my Italian. Let me just play a little bit of it. If you want to go watch the 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 full encounter, you can go watch it for yourself. If you, it's very important to have this Bible because this Bible. Because they want to hide their true identity. The identity the name is Yahweh. And the name is, if you start praying and calling on is this year. And if you don't give it up. Uh, I mean, if, if, if one will say that I will divert from what I'm saying in uh, King James, in King, in King James, that is automatically what we are presenting is the one that can come from me. And really, you can go watch the video for yourself. I'm just going to quickly explain what, what actually went down. You know, I was having a life camp and it worked up and, you know, the spirit moved me to, you know, to question him a little bit. If, you know, if he, if he, if he, if he believes in the Bible, if he knows that he is an Israelite, because the true Israelites are the so-called Negroes, Native Americans and Latino for the major part. Then you have Israelites who are spread in all parts of the world, looking like the various nations where they find themselves. You know, so I was trying to, you know, explain to him how he is from the tribe of Judah. Then, you know, we got to the point, um, some sort of like an argument, but, you know, it wasn't an argument, you know, because I saw that we, we weren't actually going the same way. So I had to let him go. But it's really interesting. You know, you can go watch it for yourself. So I, he hacked me. If I could prove to him that the name of Yahweh Shai um, wasn't Jesus. So I brought up different precepts, you know, brought up the precepts where, you know, I, I, at the beginning, I explained to him um, Yahweh Shai is of the tribe of Judah, is a Hebrew Israelite. We all know this, you know, <clears throat> he was born in Bethlehem, um, which means um, um, Bahat Lakam. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong which means house of bread and he's a hebrew israelite so he has a hebrew israelite name and i explained to him how the name jesus is a greek name and is a renaissance name because the letter j didn't exist until 1524 by a man named jean tricino an italian man okay i explained all these things to him i also brought out the book of um acts is in the 26th chapter i think at about the eighth verse the conversation that's you know the apostle paul had with yahweh shai and the conversation was in was in hebrew language you know but all these things you know to the man meant actually nothing because it kept saying the name written there is jesus the name written there is jesus you know and this i i just felt pity for him because this is the situation where majority of our people find themselves you know this is what the damage christianity has done these people can't they can't even think like they can't use their normal um how should i put it their common sense they don't have no more they, they no longer have common sense because christianity 
is actually a spell. It's a witchcraft. Okay? Those people that go to these churches that are part of all these different religions, it is actually a spell, witchcraft, to keep you in that darkness which represents ignorance. And bringing our people out of that takes the grace of Yahweh Shai, our Savior. And, well, it's all been designed like this because the Most High has called many and he has chosen only a few. So, we are not, we're not surprised, you know, we're not bothered about people not getting this truth because we, we've already been told that, you know, and the road that leads to life is narrow and only a few are going to find that road. And that major road that leads to death is that large road, that huge road that everyone is going through. Christianity is the biggest um, religion, followed by Islam, if I'm not mistaken. Then you have Buddhism, then you have all different kinds of religions. You know, all these roads are leading to death and majority of our people are going to head up for that road. So if you, if, you, if, you, if you find yourself speaking to someone, you know, explaining this thing in sincerity through the spirit and power of the Most High Yahweh Shemi Al Shai, and the person doesn't receive it, it's because the Most High Yahweh Shemi Al Shai has purposely blinded that person. So there was nothing I could do, you know, to open this Jake's eyes because he has drunk so much of that Babylon juice. He's drunk off that Christianity juice. He's drunk off that thing, man, you know? that jesus jews man they just can't reason with their with their common sense and this is spoken of in the book of let's get the book of ezekiel ezekiel the 37th chapter very beautiful chapter i'll start from the top it says and the hand of yahweh shemi al shai was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of yahweh and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and that valley is america okay that valley is america but we can we can use it as the land where all jakes find themselves okay because you know we were carried captives into different cities into different countries into different towns you know so those towns become valleys man but it is actually speaking of the united states babylon the great it says and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and that bones represents the israelites in their dead state you know the so-called negroes native americans and latinos because here in verse 11 it tells you then he said this is the most i saying um saying to um ezekiel he said then he said unto me son of man these bones are the whole house of israel behold they say our bones are dried and our hope is lost we are cut off we are cut off for our parts, okay? So the bones represent the sons of Israel. That's in our dead state, man. We had no, no knowledge of who we are. We had no knowledge of anything, you know. We were carried away captives. And, you know, many of us were born into this captivity. And, you know, we, we were okay with it, man. You know, we, we, we grew up knowing that we were, we were slaves. We were inferior people. Well, we grew up knowing that, man, um, the so-called white man, Esau Edom, is our boss, is, 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 is wiser than us, is more supreme than us, is, is of more royalty than us. You know, we, we, all, we were all born into this ignorance, you know. So in verse 2, it says, And caused me to pass by them round about, and behold, there were very many in the open valley and lo, they were very dry very dry because we had no understanding you know um a, a regular jake out there only knows about uh his father's being slaves man but now things are changing because you know the, the, the let's read on let's read on and he said unto me son of man can these bones live and i answered oh yahweh power thou knowest Again, he said unto me, prophesy unto these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of Yahweh Hashem Shai. Thus said Yahweh Hashem Shai unto these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter into you and ye shall live. But you see, all those bones represent the house of Israel and this bone represents um, the, the, the breath, the breath con um, represents the pure understanding of the truth. And you see, this breath didn't go into all the bones. Let's read on. 
and I will listen news upon you and will bring you up, and, and bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and ye shall live and ye shall know that I am Yahweh Hashem Shai. So you see this breath, which is the, 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 the understanding of this truth, the pure understanding of this truth is what brings you back to life, you know? So all those people that are outside this truth, that don't know this truth, they are actual zombies, man, you know? E that, that the congregation of fools, let's get that scripture. I think it's in the proverb. <clears throat> um, congregation of the dead, sorry. This is Proverbs 21, 16. It says, the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead so you see the way of understanding you get understanding through the precepts through the words of the most high yahweh Hashem Shai. that's what um 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 king 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 david said you know he says through thy precepts i get understanding so if you if you wander out of this way of understanding which is true this precepts which are the words of the most high yahweh Hashem Shai, if you don't have the true understanding of this thing just believe me, you are part of the congregation of the dead. You're, you're just a walking dead. You're a zombie, you know? So all the people outside this truth that you're trying to teach, that don't understand this truth, they're actual zombies. Because they're carried away by different kinds of philosophies. They are slaves to anything, man. To everything and anything. So he says... And I will lay sinews upon you and will bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put bread in you and you shall live and you shall know that I am Yahweh Hashem Shai. And this is what, what, the, what the truth does, man. This truth, it, it covers your nakedness, man. It covers your nakedness, your sins, you know. This truth gives you understanding. It makes you know what's going on. You start, you start being conscious of what's going on around you. You start knowing about the world you're living in. You see, people who don't have this truth, they're living in a world that they don't even know what's going on. Then you have lots of people in this, in, in this world, they have understanding of many things that are going on, but they don't have the solution, which is the beautiful part of having this truth. Because this truth opens, opens your eyes to everything that's going on, to secrets. Then it offers you the ultimate solution that can never fail. And that's what these religions don't have. That's what uh, the, uh, the philosophies of this world don't have. That's solution. We, we have the solution through this truth. We know we have a savior, Yahweh Shai, who is coming to redeem us very soon from the hands of this wicked, you know. But the people of the world, they have different plans, you know. Now he says, Then he said unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy son of man, and say to the wind, Thus say, Yahweh Shem Shai, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon this, this slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood up upon their feet, an exceeding great army. See? And he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say our bones are dried, and our hope is lost. We are cut off for our part and you see what happened was when this when these bones they lived you know it's just it's too please just bear with me okay it's two parts verse seven pay attention it says so i prophesied as i was commanded and as i prophesied there was a noise and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. So it's two, it's two processes. The first process is the first process, the bones all came together, the dry bones. Okay. The second process is he commanded the breath to come into them, and they lived and stood up upon their feet. Okay, so these are two processes, you know. Now, the bones coming together, the noise that's been spoken of in verse 7, it says a noise, okay. 
And that noise came in during the time of um of um of Elijah, also known as um John the Baptist in, the, in his second reincarnation, then in his third re reincarnation, Habba Bivens. Now, if you can receive that, you receive that. There are lessons on this. This might be a little um meat for those who are new into this truth. So don't choke on it, you know. A step at a time. Don't bug out if you hear these things because the Bible speaks of reincarnation. So you see, uh, the prophet Elijah came back as John the Baptist and he also came back as Abba Bivens, okay? And during the time of Abba Bivens, um, the Israelites were waking up, man, you know? They were waking up, they were getting to understand that, man, um, the so-called white man is treating us bad, there's something wrong, you know? Uh, all these different movements started coming up, all these movements of unity, you know, all these black movements and all these things. They were coming up. That's the bones coming together. Okay. Then you see the breath went into some, not all. That breath went into only the elect. Okay. Only the elect have that breath. So you see, and that breath represents the Holy Spirit, man. Because it's you can't get the truth, the full understanding of this truth without the Holy Spirit. So you see the bones. The bones came back together because, you know, now there are all these jakes out there, you know, who, do, who are not in this truth. But, you know, they kind of like, they kind of like know what's going on. They know, they know that there is something wrong. You know, they have some knowledge because in this time and day that we are today, the Most High has made this knowledge to flow around the world, you know. You, with, 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 with the click of your finger, you have access to all different kinds of knowledge, history, on your phone on your computers you know so these bones are standing up are coming together you know but not all the bones have the breath in them so you see only the elect have that breath in them and this is what makes the difference because without that breath you cannot understand this pure truth let no man deceive you that's the reason why you see this jake right here this man right here, no matter how much I was going to teach him, no matter how much I was going to explain to him, he cannot receive it. You know, he came a demon and went away even more demon. So you see, because in order for you to understand this truth, you need the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit makes you understand the whole truth. Now let's go to the book of um, John 14. Um, which is um let me see um the keyword is um comforter this is john 14 16 is yahusha he says and i will pray the father yahweh and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not neither knoweth him but ye know him for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you so you see this spirit of the comforter that explained that gives you the full understanding of this thing it's only it's only given to the elect because not all israel is going to be saved at this time at this time, only a third of the house of Israel is going to be saved, okay? And that's speaking of the Israelites in Babylon. But I, I personally believe that the, the, the full number of the whole number of Jake, only a third is going to be saved, you know? Two thirds are going to go through, through, um, through, through, through judgment this time around. Then they, they're going to be reincarnated into the kingdom. And they're going to come back to their senses and you know they, they, they're going to have eternal life as well you know because you remember the most High is going to have mercy on all israelites but in this time they're all going to go through judgment those people who don't have this truth who, who make jest of this truth who take for granted this truth who are participating in all different kinds of wicked religions and philosophies of men and refusing to to, to learn this truth so you see and what does this comforter do, which is the Holy Spirit? It gives you the understanding of all things, you know? 
Oh. Can. Verse 26, it says, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father Yahweh will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. You see, and this bringing all things to your remembrance goes deeply into reincarnation. Because you see, the spirit of the, of the, of the prophets are subject to the prophets. If you were once a prophet in the past life, it means that you, you had this truth, man. You knew this truth. So you died, you came back again, and you see the Holy Spirit is going to bring you back into the remembrance of these things that you once knew. So you see, that breath that's been spoken of in the book of Ezekiel 37 is not for everybody. It's only for a chosen few. Okay? Only for a chosen few. Let me see. Um, let me put it like this. Please bear with me. Can. This is the book of First John, chapter 2, verse 20 says, But ye have an unction, okay, from the Holy One, and ye know all things. And that's that breath, that breath, okay, the Holy Spirit, which, you know, only the elect can receive the world cannot receive it that's why this man was bugging out now i want to show you something to the contrast of this we went out to teach last week um sorry we went out to teach this last weekend you know so an italian jake he walked up to us he came and i asked him if he believed in the bible he told me he was an atheist that he did he doesn't believe in the Bible no more because there is so much, there are so much things that are not, that are not right with the church, you know? So the spirit led I and the brother Kalam, we started teaching this man. You know, you can go watch the, the lesson. It's the last, it's, I think the last two camps we, we had. The last camp we had, yeah, sorry, you know? Because I had a camp on Saturday and on Sunday, the brother came out, uh, we had a camp also. So it's the camp we had on Sunday. So you see, the spirit was on us. We started teaching this man, you know. We started telling him that if there is corruption in these churches and all these things, that doesn't mean that there is no truth, that there is a truth. And trust me, this man came an atheist and he left a believer. He left a believer. He came that he just he was just curious to, to hear what we were speaking about. And he said he, he, he doesn't believe anymore. And he left that he wanted to know the name of Yahweh Shai. He wanted to know the name of the Most High. He wanted the name of our channel so he can get edified. And, you know, he said he, he needed this channel so he can, you know, he can, he can, he can start following up, you know. And this is how the Most High Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai works. And you see, it took him nothing to receive this. Why? Because the Most High put the Spirit in him to receive it without any stress. And there you go, that's a man that goes to church every Sunday, has a pastor and all that. He was even calling his pastor on me that day, told him to call his pastor, but his pastor would turn back and wouldn't, wouldn't come, man. You know, very funny, funny, you know. So this man that, that claimed to know the Bible because it was, it was every scripture I was bringing out, it was making sure I was reading the right scriptures and all that thing. You know, he couldn't receive it. Why someone who came being an atheist, he received the Bend truth. Okay. He received the truth without any problems, you know. So you see, many are called, few are chosen. He came as an atheist and he left a believer. So this is how the most the most high Yahweh Shemia Shai works. You know, this truth he hasn't given it to them to the most um, to the most intelligent people in the world. You know, he took the babes, he took the meek, the people that are low, that are seen as nothing, 
and he gave them this truth. He opened their mind. So Christianity is a very, very, you know, very, very wicked drug. You know, more powerful than crack, methaphane and all that thing, you know. Christianity is a wicked drug, man, because it destroys our people more than any other thing, you know. When you start telling them that, oh, your Messiah is not a so-called white man, it's a so-called black man, you know, they bug out. Once you start telling him that his name is not Jesus, his name is something else. His name is Yahweh Shai. They bug out. They come against you. They don't want all that thing. Once you start telling them the so-called white man that's in power today is the devil that the Bible speaks of. They say no. Why? Because they are zombies. So hopefully this lesson was a defined through the spirit and power of the most high Yahweh Shai. On to the next one. Shalom.